the Z life. Guess what? All the rich boys wanna f on us. I just end up because look, don't touch. And I'm bad, busting bands every time we link up. And that my best friend, she a real bad got her own money. She don't need no n on the dance floor. She had two, three, now she twerking. She throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend, she a real bad drive her own car. She don't need no lift in the Weekend, it's a deck party on.
Sports presents the NBA with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Eastern Conference battles always fun. This time it's the Cleveland Cavaliers intent on protecting home court. Here's Sharp. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. They've got Keldon Johnson. Mohamed Bamba is out there with Murray. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Sharp in at the point. Johnson in the corner. Shot clock at six. Over Allen. Johnson can't get it to go. And here's Cleveland. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. Oh, yeah. Then they made good adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on, and we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. The one word you can hear to describe Jerry Allen Greg is efficient. He doesn't waste his chances at the offensive end. I mean, like ever. He's very smart with his shot selection, but... Don't let that take away from his defense. Allen takes a lot of pride in protecting the rim. Well, think about Mr. Jared Allen. He was not the first family member to get picked in the NBA draft. Let's remember his dad taken by Dallas in the famous 1985 draft. His dad, however, would go on to have a playing career in Europe. Well, it's certainly our treat to bring you, the fans, NBA action here on Halloween. And Greg, as a parent, how many pieces of candy do your kids get to have in one night? Oh, well, they came back loaded down. And you can't let them eat it all. Maybe five pieces or so, and then you, you know, hope they forget about it. Or just try to stagger Mo it and, and get to Christmas. Well, excellent pursuit of the basketball by Mo Bamba. Love his effort there. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Passes it to Mobley. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> now, here's DiVincenzo. Johnson in the corner. Over Allen. And it's sent back by Allen. This guy is a sensational shot blocker. Jared Allen twice on the pipes. Garland against Murray, and the shot goes in. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Here's Sharp. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Sharp, that's good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Allen. Good for the basket. Yeah. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. And stolen by Sexton. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. And it's off the back rim, no good. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. DiVincenzo kicks to Murray. He takes it in. Second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Cavaliers leading. Bounce pass from Garland. Outside, Sexton. Oh, good on the triple. And so it's Charlotte with it. Here's Sharp. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And so Allen will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Rejected by Murray. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Cavalier foul. Colin Sexton. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game. Taking two shots.
first one falls for him. Tied up with that one. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Garland, the pass to Allen. He kicks it to Sexton. Johnson with the puck. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Second team foul. Charlotte two shooting their third three and fourth three. free throw attempts of the game. Johnson, two shots. Free throw is good, now leading by one. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Charlotte, their last game, a win against the 76ers. Fixed it on the wing. Doesn't go for him. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. Even Chenzo passes to Bamba. Here's Sharp, guarded by Garland. And it's Sharp missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. A try by Garland. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, that's how you use the floater. Darius Garland gets into his bag. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Charlotte. Garland's gone two or three from the floor. Here's Sharp. There's the pass to Reed. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Garland. Now Cleveland moving it up. Lined up there for Allen. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Well, that's just Darius tremendous Garland. length. Exceptional hands, Jared Allen. Nice and easy. Murray outside. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Sexton against Johnson. The shot by Sexton, no good. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling. Oh! oh. Wow. Johnson. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Garland kicks to Mobley. He lobs it up, and Mobley throws it down. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. Pass to Reed. Here's Sharp. A three-pointer off the mark. 
Sharp's gone two to six here tonight from the field. You know, from the very start of his career, Colin Sexton has been a guy, Doris, who can find points even as a rookie. He was putting up some big numbers. He is relentless, looking for opportunities to score the basketball when he's on the offensive end. This guy shoots well over 40% from the field, and he will do whatever it takes to find shots. Here's Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Johnson against Allen. Johnson kicks to DiVincenzo. Clock at four. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. And so, Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And the memory I have of Colin Sexton in Alabama. How about he scored four points in the game where the tide only had three players on the court down the stretch. Young fella was undaunted. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And in that game with only three players, Sexton almost led them to a comeback, Greg. In fact, they actually cut a 14-point lead down to three. And that tells you about Sexton's mindset. He was not prepared to let them lose, even under the toughest scenario you can imagine. Good on both. Well, Colin Sexton, I think, is a crafty point guard with tremendous upside. He obviously can facilitate and be a distributor. The key is, can he knock down shots consistently? Cleveland leading by four. Takes it inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. A the chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. First free throw is good. And Sexton drops them both. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Charlotte trails by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. He's guarded by Love. Charlotte no good that time either. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 12-4 run right now. And it's blocked. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Let's go. And he overshot that one, missing. The Cavaliers leading by six. Sexton with it. Now Bull defending. Sexton deciding where to go with it. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Williams, he's checked in for Nasri. Grant Williams. Williams. 
Six to shoot. Here's Sexton. No good that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Cooper. Softly drops in the floater. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. Love trying to break loose. Rebound by Williams. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Great D that time from Levert. The Cavaliers leading by four. Driving inside. It's tipped. They retain possession. And it's in there. And off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Drops in the layup for two. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Outside, Sexton. Pass to Levert. Releases. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Cleveland ahead, up by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. Cleveland leading by four. We've got Kevin Love. Karis LeVert is out there with Colin Sexton. Then there's Markinen. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The shot by Sexton, no good. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Here's Cooper. That one, no good. Nice D from Sexton. And the shot is good. Oh, and, Sexton and the Cavaliers lead by six. Sexton is a point guard. It is his job to share the wealth, and he does there. Cooper, the pass to Bowles. on the clock. Off target with his three. And it's love with the ball for Cleveland. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Well, just a little bit of momentum and Sexton going right to the rim. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. A three ball. Charlotte again missing. Cleveland leading by eight. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. There's the feed to Bull. Passes it to Cooper. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first. That one on love. First team foul. For Charlotte, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And the first one at the line is good. Garland, he's checked in for Colin Sexton. Oh, 
He makes one of two that time. Greg, let me tell you a little known fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> They've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the Diamonds. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts with the game right here. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Charlotte trails by nine. Inside. Here's Bamba. Chalk up two there. Bamba's got his second bucket of the night. I'll tell you, the next step for Mo Bamba will be more muscle, but he finishes through contact right there. He's guarded by Cooper. Takes the 13-footer. The rebound by Cooper. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Now the pass to Bamba. Over Garland. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Now just a five-point Cleveland lead. Garland looking it over. Lavert kicks to Garland. Back to Lavert. Love trying to break loose. Doesn't go that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Pass to Bamba. Got it for his fourth Mo field Bamba. goal of the game on just five shots. Well, don't let that lean frame fool you. Mo Bamba able to muscle through contact. Nice. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. It's Garland. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Alvarado. Avert defending. Here's Alvarado. Here's Williams. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Lavert. Sinks that one from the post. Lavert's got his first points of the night. Harris Lavert, great confidence in his ability to get off the dribble drive and make things happen. Charlotte calls timeout. Charlotte. Cavaliers on D. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to DiVincenzo. That shot off. Excellent D there from Allen. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Leading by five. For Murray. The rebound by Sharp. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And Charlotte turns it over again. Charlotte making the switch in the away. Reed's checked in. Cleveland leading by five. Garland with the bucket. Well, the toughness of Darius Garland on display. Wants to finish through contact and get the bucket. And here is DiVincenzo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shoots over a Coro. That one off the back iron and out. And here's Cleveland. 
Darius Garland banked in off the glass. Darius Garland. And now a nine-point Cavalier lead. Yeah, that was the third straight high-percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's DiVincenzo. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Outside Garland. Passes to Mobley. Now here's Okoro. Just five on the clock. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Murray. Levert against DiVincenzo. The pass to Johnson. Back to DiVincenzo. Driving to the basket. Excellent D there from Allen. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Here's a curl. Johnson with the defensive effort. Charlotte trails by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Murray. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. Feeds it to Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis Levert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Now the NBA does get high marks for its diversity, but there is some frustration on that front when you look at head coaches and front office positions. All-star Carl Anthony Towns said, men of color deserve a chance to lead a team, run an organization, and make their mark. Not just with a jersey on, but with a suit on. Guys? Thank you, David. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut to just seven points in the basket from Reed. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Garland against DiVincenzo. Now here's Levert. He's guarded close. Can't connect from short range. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And it's sharp missing. Cleveland leading by seven. Wound up there for Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Jared Allen understands where to pick his spots. Really nicely done on that. 136 left in the first half of basketball. Murray with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Even Shenzo can't hit it. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. The pointer, Levert. Cleveland gets it back. Mobley, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Mobley's got the lead up to 11 now for the Cavs. Here, Sharp. That's tipped. Now, here's Garland. Ten points for him. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the half. Kicks it to Mobley. Now, here's Okoro. D right on him. He's hit again. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Earning a trip to the line, Karis Levert is one tough guy. Has had to fight through so many leg injuries over the course of his career. Incredible. He, you know, Karis Levert really delivers exactly what you want from a guy at his position, which is points. Right. For Karras, it's about capitalizing on every opportunity the defense gives you. He's got enough range to complement an elite driving game. This is a guy who can get you a bucket when you need it. Here's Sexton. He has six. A three. No good.
that time. And so it's Cleveland. 